What's going on, guys? Tino Plus Ultra here. Uh, welcome to Tino Plus Coffee. I guess that's uh, what I'm going with these days. Uh, I'm sort of looking at doing a podcast from a kind of solo perspective, I guess you could say. So it's going to be a lot of me uh, talking to myself awkwardly as I get used to it. But the more that I think about the idea, the more it's kind of like, you know, on Twitch, you just kind of get on and there are people there typically to interact with. And it gets a little bit awkward because you're just watching yourself and you're hearing yourself talk and there's nobody else coming in unless, of course, you do Discord or something like that. So I guess what I'm trying to say is I don't think that the idea is that insane, but in trying to find some sort of a rhythm for this show, maybe like a weekly show or something like that, we could kind of just do like updates. You know what I mean? So updates in regards to, you know, the Twitch channel, maybe some news that's coming out, maybe a few things that I'm experiencing, uh, maybe movies or something on Netflix, a anything of that nature, a new anime, a video game. And I can just kind of get on here and talk a little bit about it. Uh, just let everybody know what's going on. And, you know, I, I hope that I get some feedback in the in the comments so this doesn't uh, turn into a short lived thing. But time will tell. Right. So if you guys are new to this channel, and I don't think most of you are at this point, uh, you can find me on Twitch at twitch.tv backslash Tino plus ultra. Uh, I also host another podcast uh, with a group of uh, Twitch streamers, friends, whatever you want to call them uh, at body snatchers media.com. So if you're interested in, in, in checking out uh, multiple perspectives kind of clashing together at one time in unison, uh, then definitely head over to body snatchers media. But that being said, you're here. I have your attention now. And I just want to talk a little bit about uh, some things that I have going on in my life right now. So as some of you know, I build PCs on stream. And uh, we had a contest giveaway. We actually had two at the beginning of uh, 2022. And one of them ended up being a full Alchemist build. And that one kind of had a lot of bells and whistles going on with it. Uh, and we, we had a relatively quick turnaround time. There was another one that I have not completed yet, but... Finally ordered the uh, the final parts necessary to get this off the ground. We had a winner um, in Toronto, Canada. Uh, Ian, you guys may know him as Lace It Up on the internet. Uh, super cool dude. And he has decided to go with a Stormtrooper model PC, which I personally have never done, but I'm kind of excited with the uh, uh, just the fun of, of doing a simple black and white build. You know, there's not a lot going on, but like the the contrast, like it's just hard to beat, right? It's, it's clean. It's... Uh, it's it's just it's it's gonna come out pretty cool at least the way that I'm envisioning it in my mind. So I'm really excited to to get that one built on Twitch in the weeks to come. Um, another project that I am actually starting today after this podcast is for a Lord of the Rings build. Technically speaking, it's a Lord of the Rings Hobbit build, uh, and that one is for um, a user. I believe her name is Trixie Hobbit. Um, and, and this wasn't a contest or, or anything of that nature. She just really wanted this, has been very excited about it for a while. And, and with this build, I'm actually trying a few things that I haven't done before. So we went with a, a Corsair case. Um, I think it's the 220T. You can you know look that up if you want to get a visual. Otherwise, just come into the stream. I've used it on a lot of past uh, builds that we've done on stream. But what makes this one unique is that I'm ripping apart a lot of... Uh, pieces i guess you could say out of this case kind of down to bare bone and painting it so i'm going with a a, a gold and, and white type of theme which i'm really excited about i've never really done that and admittedly i'm a bit novice when it comes to uh painting so i've been experimenting with some different types of uh, metallic paints and um uh you know just things of that nature just kind of playing around with it seeing how this thing might look and and overall I think it's going to be pretty awesome. You know, like this is kind of, this is kind of something that happens a lot of times when I, when I do a PC build, people like, a, you know, are wondering like, how do you figure it out? And it's just like, honestly, like I just throw a lot of ideas like left and right. I figure out colors and, you know, things that I know will work. And then we just kind of jump in and, and hope for the best. So we've got some, uh, gold colored uh, cable management going on. And those were really hard to find. Also super excited to use those. I've never used like a metallic, gold color before so again just really interested to see how this comes together so that's twitch.tv backslash tino plus ultra uh, I got, i've got a link tree on on twitter and instagram so if you guys want to 
you know, just be able to see the final final product afterwards or on TikTok or whatever, I will definitely have something posted in the in the days to come. So now that the uh, PC agenda is out of the way for now, and I do have some other things in the works, but um, it's just a little too early to say. <laughs> I kind of wanted to talk about some overall channel updates. So we recently, we, I, but I like to say we as my community, uh, we hit 900 followers, which is kind of a big deal. I think we're currently at 920 and as a small streamer, like that's just insane to me. Um, the, the, the grind has been nuts. You know, some people strike lightning and, you know, you get on Twitch and, you know, in 30, 45 days, you're a freaking partner. That happens for some people. For me, I'm not really trying to do anything past affiliate. Of course, more growth is better. But what I will say from like a more optimistic perspective is having a smaller community that is a fairly consistent community. So when I say that, I say like, you know, between five and maybe 15 people at a time, any given stream, it gives me the opportunity to have really, you know, kind of tight knit bonding. You know, I, I just, I get to know everybody. I, I follow almost everybody on Twitch or Instagram or, uh, or, or Twitter. And I just, I just get a chance to really get to know people outside of this persona that they try to build up on their platform or, or, you know, whatever they have going on, but just, you know, get to have conversation. You know, we get to inbox, talk a little bit. They come into the Twitch channel. Um, it's not overcrowded. Uh, another beautiful thing is the community gets an opportunity to get to know one, one another, right? So everybody's kind of becoming friends and it's this thing that like, I kind of can't wait to get to most of the time. And I feel like, and I can't speak from it cause I'm not, you know, a, a partner, but I do know that for some of those partner streams where there's just so much going on and they have to hit like slow chat in order to figure out who's who that's gotta be tough. I imagine that the, the connections that you could potentially have with those people are basically non-existent. You know what I mean? Like, I, I just don't think that I'd want to be that type of streamer. <coughs> so yeah, big news on the channel. I, I don't know how long it's going to take to get from 900 to a thousand. Uh, but like I'm, 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 I see it. I'm, I'm visualizing it. We're, we're really close. We're at 920. That happened relatively quick. I think I've been averaging about 25 to 40 new people a month, which is not like groundbreaking numbers, but it's consistent. So, you know, for me, the goal here is just to be patient, uh, grow the community slowly. And, and, and with that, the benefit is everybody gets to know everybody. We make some awesome friends. Sometimes people go for, away for a little bit. Sometimes they come back. It's whatever. But again, just the overall, you know, premise numbers are going up. Things look really good. I'm excited about that. So if you're part of my Twitch community, I just wanted to thank you, uh, for, for coming in and, and, you know, whatever the heck it is you do daily that makes others want to come back. Cause it's not just me. It's, it's, you know, everybody, you know, cumulatively together. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to kind of touch base on briefly is, um, recent video games. So Minecraft old school game, if you've noticed, I've been playing a hell of a lot of Minecraft. Uh, me and a, a co-host uh, slash friend slash kind of sort of family of mine, uh, Steven, recently started up a Minecraft server. Uh, technically speaking, it's a realm through Microsoft. So those run like, I don't know, maybe eight bucks, seven dollars, eight dollars a month, something like that. And we we've we've had a couple of these every couple of years. We spin one up. And I have to say that this one might be the best one that we've done so far we take minecraft to its most difficult settings on survival mode and just go you know crazy we start building machines you know we build an entire village a huge community um you know there's extra beds we've got um, extra housing for people that do choose to join us on the server that may not want to uh, kind of jump into the community pile of, of, of armor and gear and spare parts that we have you might want to do your own thing but it's a safe haven so you get a respawn point right away and I need people to stop not knocking Minecraft so hard. I, I know it's a game that looks like it's for kids, and it can certainly be played in a style that is beneficial to children for you know multiple reasons. Um, you know, some of which probably being in the in the survival mechanics. You've got uh, just kind of teaching kids like <clears throat> basic ways to think and to go out and you know just figure stuff out because it's not one of those like linear games that just is like okay like go and do this quest good job but like the game is whatever you make it and it supports creativity and i think you know if you kind of lack that this could be a good tool to kind of help 
you know, put your creative hat on and, and, and grow in other ways. So, you know, you get out there, you punch a tree a couple of times, the tree drops a certain type of wood, the wood gets formatted into planks, the planks can be used for all sorts of things, you know, stairs and, and gates and, and, you know, fencing, uh, it can be used towards uh, a combination of beds and, and, and wool from sheep in order to, you know, just whatever, like, it's just, <laughs> there's a lot of things that you can do in Minecraft. Um, like, really, it's it's a shame that more adults are not into it. But if you are curious, I mean, pop into the stream and you can kind of see some of the stuff we've built. Um, I, I super love Redstone, which is um, used for making a lot of uh, machines. So if you've got kind of like a techie uh, head on, there's so many YouTube options that exist out there to be like, you know what, I want to learn how to make um, an automatic uh, like crop machine, something that automatically goes through crops and or something that sorts... Uh, various items in the game you know so you can get up a chest and have all sorts of loot piled up in there but like now you can build a machine that organizes it automatically and you know that in itself is a is a big kickback for my nerdy self so if you guys are into that sort of stuff i mean please and and if you don't like doing that if you want to just get out there mine hunt attack bad guys <clears throat> and by bad guys i mean mobs also an option uh the other game that i've been playing a lot recently is ghostwire tokyo uh I have mixed feelings about this game. I went into it very optimistically uh, just because I think it was two or three years ago. I want to say it was either the year that COVID hit or the year before they had a display for E3. And it just looked like it was going to be this really, really awesome game. And I have to say that it is just as beautiful as I imagined it would be. And it plays a little bit. Uh, it's like a first person shooter perspective, but it's not really FPS. Uh, you have like sp spiritual powers. You can... Uh, God, how would I describe it? It's like related to elements and you can kind of shoot like water energy and fire energy and you can manipulate like lightning and uh, wind and, and, and that sort of thing. Uh, so it's, man, it's really tough. Like you'd have to probably pop into a stream in order for me to, to better explain it, to have the visuals on hand. But I think where the game lacks is, you know, okay, so you're shooting these powers out. So essentially it's kind of like a weird FPS, you know, first person perspective. Um, so it's kind of like a shooter. Um, there's no melee, not really. It's got uh, a melee button that kind of acts as if it's um, like a, like you're trying to knife somebody and maybe call of duty best way I can think of it, but it's really ineffective because you're fighting ghosts. So pretty much anybody you hit with it, it doesn't do anything, which is really frustrating. It really gives you a helpless feeling. And to layer on that helpless feeling, you know, the enemies that you fight, they don't really, some of them, you know, shoot blasts and energy and things at you that you can dodge and block. Uh, but a lot of them are, are just melee. Like there's dudes that will run out full speed and just drop kick you and beat the hell out of you. And you can't really punch back because you're fighting ghosts. And I, I feel like this is kind of where the game misses its mark. I think if they had enemies that were lightly doing the same thing that, that, that you're doing, um, even if it's better or they you know, got hacks or larger blasts or whatever the case may be, it would feel more fun. But you really get this sense of helplessness when you know, they can run out at any given time and just you know, attack you and you can't do anything but shoot these little blasts and you know, running out of energy is a possibility for you. So once that happens, it's kind of like, I guess I'll just wait till I get killed and start over. So I've, I found myself in a, in a place where, you know, as a completionist, I really do want to, to finish the game, uh, but I wouldn't play it again. And I probably, if I'm being honest, wouldn't recommend it to anybody. If you want to try it, like by all means, go ahead. Maybe you'll have a very different experience that I had, but uh, I just, I just don't think it's worth the money. You know, I think that they had a good idea and it just wasn't executed super great uh the the playability is just not that fantastic and i've seen a lot of people on reddit who have a similar issue that i have where they're just you're just not enjoying themselves you know you can pick it up you play for a few minutes you're good but it's really hard to sit down and grind that game for a couple hours like you would most games you just become uninterested in a rel relatively short amount of time so that's just my experience i'm not trying to to knock the game like i said it is beautiful uh somebody may have a totally different experience than i I do plan on completing it, but yeah, I just find myself uninterested in, in, in side quests. Uh, the main story is, is pretty cool. That's really what's keeping me going here is the main story is really, really good. So I definitely would say, you know, if you find some time, you know, read up on that. It's uh, the main character wakes up in a town. Everybody's 
basically dead. He finds out that there's these like superpowers that have been given him to, given to him. So like an ent- entity is taken over his body, so to speak, and that entity gives him powers. And I don't have a full explanation, but all I can say is like you know because I haven't completed the game yet. <laughs> but the guy that takes over his body. Um, you know, was at some point a human who was hunting ghosts before there was like an event that killed everybody. And now he apparently is a ghost. So you and him are sort of combined and it kind of, kind of feels like, uh, like Venom a little bit, like the Venom movie where he's like sort of talking internally. And I think to some extent he can kind of take over your body, but really you're in control. And it's just like a weird, like Eddie Brock Venom sort of conversation, but like Japanese and with ghosts. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I should spend some time like emailing the company and being like, what were you guys going for? You know, like, let me, let me know. Uh, as far as, uh, updates on things that I've been watching recently, I haven't seen too many new things outside of like, you know, one piece updates, uh, which if you're reading the manga and just kind of watching the series as it unfolds, it's getting really good. If you're not a one piece fan, I'm sorry, but you need to take the time to invest into that. I don't think you'll be disappointed whatever you know stop hating it just check it out but new things this harley quinn show it's, it's not really new it's new to me i didn't realize like how good it is if you haven't watched it and you enjoyed suicide squad or peacemaker <clears throat> definitely 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 do yourself a favor and check that out uh the perspective of harley quinn is is kind of fantastic you get to see just uh you know how awful superheroes can be to some extent you know we're not we're not glorifying how you know fantastic superman is or batman is like they really make a lot of jokes you know about them like on the side and their personalities that i think get looked over quite a bit and it's just like yeah you know what i do feel that um they also make a point to highlight women a lot and it's not in a way that feels like they're trying to cater they're just straight up like yo this is from you know a a a woman's perspective a a strong woman's perspective at that and just showing like how she's you know kind of taken over and she doesn't have to take crap from you know villains like the joker or penguin or you know any of the iconic uh gotham villains dc villains it's just like really good like you like i watch it and i feel empowered and it's definitely like 100 percent you know designed for you know, kind of uh, pushing and highlighting women, but it's just, it's great. It's a, it's really hard to not watch there again. There's raunchy humor. So if you don't didn't enjoy peacekeeper or uh, suicide squad, this may not be for you. I totally understand that. But for me, like I, I started it finally uh, on HBO and I just, I just couldn't stop. I powered all the way through. There's two seasons and it just was a really, really fun ride. Good experience. I haven't done any research as far as the plans for season three, uh, but as far as I know, I think they're still planning on doing it. So I don't know. I'm just, that's my recommendation for the week. Check it out. Uh, that being said, I got to get ready to do this PC build. So I just wanted to kind of get on, have a test run with this, uh, this whole podcast podcast, um, set up and just kind of see where it goes. If you guys are enjoying the me talking, uh, while you're on your way to work or from work or whatever the case may be, you know, through your radio or headset, or you're at the gym, then awesome. Like, you know, like uh, objective achieve. And I hope to practice with this, get a little bit better. I'm actually at least this first time kind of enjoying it. Um, and if not, no harm done, you know, so we make an episode or two and call it a day, but, uh, thank you guys so much for, for hanging out with me for a little bit and, and checking out this podcast as it tries to find its land leg, so to speak. Uh, feel free to add me on Twitch or follow, drop in, say hi. That's twitch.tv backslash Tino Plus Ultra. Take care and have a wonderful day.